Top water bass. All right, this kayak is a ten and a half footer. It's made by uh, Lifetime. And I modified it. It has the, the low seat inside. If you can see it down in there, that's the old seat. But I purchased this seat here. It's this little fold up plastic one. It's got cushions. And the little aluminum rails here and mounted to screw them right down inside you got a big uh, concave uh, washer it's got a couple rod holders it also comes with another rod holder in the front but I eliminated that I don't use that usually use that for uh, like a GoPro pole or something and then back here you have just a milk crate it keeps all your dry goods, your lures, hooks, and this isn't the paint job, I actually got stencils and I painted this, uh, put shadow grass on it, just did it the way I, you know, that I'd want it set up, make sure you got a paddle, these are just little storage areas, that's all that is. You can buy the bags. Actually, they'll lay across here. You can take these screws out and it's got a plastic ring around it. You can set that in there and then use this for your cover. Which I don't use them. That's why I have the milk crate. Make sure you have a tether for your uh, paddle. You don't want to lose that. Check your state, any state you live in, you might have to register your kayak, which in Ohio you have to. But it's um, pretty comfortable. It's, you would think it's more tippy, but it's, it's not. And uh, when you're on the water, this seat here, it just takes you up another maybe two inches, but you can bend your knees. My feet kept falling asleep. Every time I'd stand up, my legs would fall asleep, my feet would fall asleep, just being in it for 15, 20 minutes. And that makes for uncomfortable fishing. So that's just some of the ideas that I give some of you guys if you're interested in getting into kayak fishing, which to me is a blast. You can take it on the river, you can take it on these reservoirs, you know, anywhere you want to take it, Lake, inland lakes, even Lake Erie, I've seen them on there. It all depends on if, how calm the day is. Uh, you buy these little clips. And if you need to use it for an anchor, tie your anchor rope on there. Um, I had the little Rapella clippers and the little tool here. I just strapped that right around the side of this handle. Just keep everything close and convenient. Always, you know, carry some pliers with you. You set them right on here. Uh, your rods, I usually set them. When I'm out fishing, I usually use the two rods. And one more thing I would check to make sure you have. This is made by Onyx. It's a kayaker's life jacket. It's, it has the opening for your arms there so you can paddle. Um, this one comes with a whistle also inside, little area right here, has a little attached whistle in case you're stranded or you need help. Yeah, make sure you have, you know, go buy your, uh, all your equipment that you're going to need, but check your state laws. And I know every state is going to require you to have a, a life jacket on your vessel. And make sure whatever state you're in to make sure you have permits 
and licenses and um, whatever you're going to need for your kayak vessel. But to me, is kayak fishing has become one of my favorites. I just enjoy being out there, getting into places that a lot of people can't get into. And I think a lot more people should get into uh, fishing with a kayak. So however you want to set yours up, or whatever makes you comfortable. But like I said, is when you're out here fishing with these kayaks, you want everything close, convenient, and of course comfortable. Well, I missed that one. <laughs> 